I should have let him go. <laughs> Got to be more physical. Uh, I think that's the main focus today was even if you mess up, mess up 100% being physical. Uh, so everything else we could correct in the film room, in the uh, classroom. But the main focus today is just to come out, set your pads day one, set the tone, and uh, just look to get better from there. Yeah, uh, I think it was good. I think it could have been a lot better. Uh, it was like two runs that wasn't explosive runs, but it was still like a seven-yard run. So uh, those eliminate those two that we had. I think it was an overall good day. I mean, at the end of the day, I get to play football in the National Football League, so that's a blessing in itself. Uh, I mean, I, I talked to Har, talked to Eric, and you know, uh, everything is good, good and selling right now. Uh, I'm not focused on the contract. I'm just looking to play ball. I mean, at the end of the day, I get to go out here, play football, and make my market what I want it to be. So uh, I'm not stressing anything. I'm just going out there, having fun with my teammates, having fun with my coaches, and just getting to play ball. Uh, I think everybody's situation is different. So uh, I know JK Faith is strong. Uh, we both trust in God to lead us in the right direction. And wherever that direction may be, ours is totally different right now. And his situation is different than mine. JK's been hurt before. Um, I think he's seen how scared that side could be. So I think he got his own perspective on things. I got my own perspective on things. And I think at the end of the day, you got to respect our decisions. Um, everybody on the outside has views of how we should feel, how, sh how we should do things. But at the end of the day, uh, like I said, he's been, he been in the situation before, so I can see where he's coming from. Was there a particular conversation in the offseason, somebody you leaned on to sort of figure out how you were going to approach it? I mean, when, when you did get to that point, okay, I'm, I'm just going to put my head down. This is the way I'm going to do it. Was, was there somebody who helped you get there? Uh, really myself and God just praying. Uh, everybody around me was pissed. Uh, but I was pissed myself. But at the, at the end of the day, like I said, I get to go out here and play football in the National Football League. You, uh, too many people don't get to do that. And uh, like I said, my faith is strong. I believe in God for what I want. And at the end of the day, I'm just going to come out here, give 100% effort uh, for my teammates, for my coaches, for my family, and just be the best player I could be and try to get better. Most definitely, uh, I think that's the whole uh, thing about our standard here. Uh, we don't like to leave stuff on the field, and we definitely left some plays on the field last year. So uh, now we're all just coming back, trying to, like I said the other day, we're trying to communicate better. All our plays last year that we messed up on was communication errors. So we all understand that. That's why we're coming out here. You see everybody talking. We're all flowing together. Everything's clicking right now. So uh, it's definitely unfinished business. The ups and downs that you went through in your first two or three years in Baltimore have made it easier for you to find the fuel, find the motivation to keep getting better, even when you're already on a level that's like much higher than I like, can people give you credit for. Yeah, uh, coming into the league, a lot of people know uh, I didn't play that much in college, and um, switching positions from college to the league, uh, playing Mike is a very difficult task, uh, and just being able to switch from my first year to midway through my second year and learn a whole new position was a challenge itself, but I think I kind of found like a, a common ground in which I needed to be prepared for knowing both positions. Uh, I think when I first learned Mike, I was just learning my position. And that's what really messed me up, like not knowing both positions. And that would have helped me in the defense itself, just knowing both. And it would have been a whole lot less messed up and stuff. But I think that's actually helped me now. So now that I know both positions, it's way easier uh, just to be able to take my time and just play football. Yeah, I definitely haven't even got close to the service of the players I, I could be in. Everybody around here knows it. Uh, I think people around the league know it. And that's why I'm out here just trying to get better, trying to compete, uh, trying to just master my craft. And uh, I think when I do that, I think the whole league going to be on notice. Take any motivations from LSU baseball? I definitely did. Uh, boy, boys out there balling, uh, went win it. Uh, Dylan right down the street, so whenever he get up there uh, with the Nationals, I'm going to go up there and catch some games and stuff, most definitely.
Could have most definitely. Uh, I was actually talking to some schools. Had some schools reach out. Um, definitely could have went that route. Uh, but I just I should have went that route. I should have I should have tried to do both. I should have did both. Experiment a little bit, but I think it all worked out. Uh, personal, not really. Uh, just to up every step that I had. One more tackles, more picks, force fumbles, sacks, whatever it may be. Uh, I just want to up each category that I had. You talk about giving up 70-yard runs like it was a 20-yard run. Just, even without play this year, this year, how good do you think the run defense can be? Uh, it could be great. Uh, we all know how good we could be. Uh, really, all the guys is on, up front already been in the fire, uh, every single one of them. So we know what the standard is. That's why I said like the seven-yard runs, we know that we know we're better than that. Uh, so at the end of the day, a team might get seven yards, but the, the most you could limit and just get better off of that, I mean, Holding teams to less than 70 something yards of carries. I mean, uh, a game. So, uh, it's just that's stuff that we need to build on. We're, we're talking to Pierce after you. I mean, if he's able to be out there all or most of the season, how big a deal is that for De Definitely huge. Uh, he's going to definitely knock people off the ball. Uh, hard to get their hands on him. And when he gets his hands on, he can do whatever he wants. So, uh, that's a guy that we just can't wait to see go to action. Yeah, appreciate y'all.